Hi, everyone. Hi, Adrian. Good day, Mr. Imad. I would like to ask the speakers to switch on your cameras because we are going to start this amazing session together. Hello. Hi, Mr. Anas. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm good about you. Fine. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, until we are waiting for more speakers, uh, I'm going to start. Okay. All right. Should we start, Mr. Imad, or should we wait a few minutes? Um, I prefer to send the link extra. Send me, please, the link uh, so we can be sure that they have the link to enter. All right. Let me just give me a second. Before we start, it will be not good to stop in the middle. Of course. Send it to you. <laughs> Okay, this link here, what you sent it to me now. Okay. All right, in the meantime, the participants also have some more minutes uh, to join our webinar. Yeah, we are going to cover very interesting topics and it's very important that all the speakers are here. <laughs> Not to miss anything that is very important today to go through. All right, so um, we are going to start in a few minutes. Okay. I think we are complete, Mr. Mushtaq is entering ground. Very good, so then we can start, right? Correct. Okay, all right. Mr. Mushtaq, welcome. Thank you, hello everybody. Good day, Mr. Mushtaq. Good day, Mr. Adrian. All right, so we can start, right? Yes. Good day, everyone again, then I can greet everyone. Uh, welcome to the NTI Trust webinar with a very actual topic nowadays. Turkey's treasures, real estate bargains with free citizenship. I am Odrian, the marketing manager at NTI Trust, and I will be your host today. We've prepared a bunch of interesting topics about why invest and why become a citizen in Turkey. And our specially invited speakers will, will talk about the real estate market, the banking system, and about one of the most popular citizenship by investment program in the entire world. Our specialists will tell you why and how to get the best deal of the year. And that will be a very special end of year offer limited to attendees to our live event. So, um, you can be very excited what it's going to be. Uh, and plus a free bank account set, uh, set up in Turkey. Let me introduce you to our speakers today. Mr. Imad Abitar, Head of Middle East Antitrust. Welcome. Hello, Adrian. Hello. Mr. Anas Kazak Kalajo, Agency Relations Assistant, Navita. Hello, hello, everyone. Good day. And Mr. Mustak, Mustafa, Wealth Management Service Manager, Al Baraka Bank. Hello, Adrian. Hello, everyone. Hi. Good day. All right. So let's start. Why Turkey, Mr. Limad? Um, after applying to Turkish CBI program, you will be a citizen of a country with the strongest economy in this region, with young and dynamic uh, population 
we have uh, 85 million and 50% of them are less than 32 years old. It's a huge country with approximately 770,000 square, thousand square kilometer. It's the biggest country in Europe and the Middle East. Turkey is strategically located between East and West and the most visited country in this region. Definitely, uh, they have a number of visitors for uh, 45 million in 2019. And definitely this number is uh, detected or uh, this number is decreased due to the Corona time, but that was the case worldwide. Turkey is a business hub and where the investor and with their family can enjoy a high lifestyle of living in a safe environment. And this is the only country in the CBI program where the people can really choose it as a first choice where they can live there. Most of the CBI program is usually to use a passport, but Turkey is for the living uh, for investor and their family. All right. And what are the investment options to apply for a Turkey citizenship? We have six options to apply for Turkey citizenship. And the most common one, uh, or most common two, are real estate investment and uh, bank deposit. Real estate investment should be not less than 250,000 US dollar. And investment should be evaluated by government license agent to assure that the investment amount is covered and it is good usually for investor to know that his investment is worth the amount he bid. And Turkey is the only CBI country where uh, who make this evaluation uh, mandatory. That means to secure the investor. The good thing by real estate, uh, the investor can choose freely any kind of real estate, commercial, residential, or uh, land in most places of the country. And the holding period for real estate is limited by uh, three years. The second option and uh, is a fixed bank deposit, and which I think it is good to be answered from our uh, Al Baraka Bank expert, Mr. Mushtaq. Thank you, Mr. Ahmad. As Mr. Ahmad mentioned uh, about the uh, opportunity of having uh, citizenship in Turkey we can also offer as a bank uh, deposit, which is will be for $500,000. Uh, it will be the limited by holding for three years. And the process is uh, very, how you can say it uh, smoothly, after opening a bank account in any uh, bank in Turkey and you uh, transfer the funds from abroad to uh, Turkey, and giving the declaration that you will hold the, uh, this account for uh, three years and uh, the letter going to be issued by the banking regula regulator in Turkey. After that, approximately during the uh, six months, you will have your uh, Turkish citizenship. Uh, the only trick here is it, 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 it should be keep uh, hold it for uh, three years without the move any funds. But during the time you can uh, make a foreign exchange to this amount uh, or other issues. But in generally, uh, most of our clients uh, trying to keep it in the, the same currency as dollar. All right. I think, okay. I think it's to mention here that the people can hold it in different currency like Euro or in gold. Correct, Mr. Musa? Yes, yes, absolutely. That's what I mentioned that they, they want, mm -hmm. they can keep it uh, un, un, unless it's equivalent of $500,000. Uh, it's no problem in any uh, foreign currency or any purchase metal. All right. Thank you. And then uh, after these procedures, so, uh, well, or why during these procedures, who can be added to the citizenship application, Mr. Imad? In Turkey, only investor and his family, wife and children under 18 years old can be added to the application. It's not like the other, it's like any European country, because after 18 years, uh, people will be independent. Okay. That means main applicant, wife and children under 18 years old. 
Okay. Then what real estate investment options are there, Mr. Anos? So we currently have all kinds of options in Istanbul. You know, Istanbul is a very big city, especially, and in Turkey in general, you have all kinds of, like by the sea, you have uh, central, you have cold areas, hot areas. It depends on what the person you know, usually prefers. But I actually prepared for you a small presentation. Just let me open it up for you and you can see it. Just a second, let me just share my screen. Okay. Sorry for that. And here it is. Can everyone see my screen? I can see. Okay. I Okay, perfect. So just let me give a brief explanation. Uh, I'm from Nibita. We are a part of Fuzul Holding, one of the biggest uh, holdings in Turkey when it comes to real estate and any and other uh, like uh, companies where we do cars, insurance, so on and so forth. Um, we've been in the field for since 1992, so about 30 years or so. And we have serviced more than like four or five billion dollars in sales for different nationalities all over the world. So to start with, we have, as I said, different opportunities, but the best projects. So we handpick each project that we choose to sell, of course, not any project that is offered to us, we are taking on the spot. We have different projects, different areas, most of which that we currently have are in the European side of Istanbul because it's the more habited, ha inhabited place, uh, more business, more work, all usually are in the European side. So in the old Istanbul. So to start with, I'm gonna start with a small video. Uh, one of our elite projects, I think it's one of the most luxurious projects in Istanbul and it's called Seaperl. It is the Rolls Royce of projects. As you saw, the project is directly by the sea. It's one and the only one project in Istanbul where it has its own coastal line. So we are talking about 1.2 kilometers of private coastline for the project. The project is a huge project, one of the biggest also in Istanbul, of an area of 127,000 meters squared and the green area of 33,000 meters squared with a Baroque and an Ottoman design. Uh, we have all kinds of apartments starting from one plus one going up to a 4.5 plus one. We have uh, like a sea taxi uh, service. We have our own pier. We have sauna, Turkish baths, every kind of social facility that you might find in the most luxurious projects is there. We also are in, located in the area of Atakoy. Atakoy is also one of the very central uh, areas of the European side of Istanbul. It is like the socioeconomic level also of the people residing in that area is, let's say, middle class and even high, high end people. You know, uh, we have uh, prices starting from about $570,000 going up to $2.5, $2.4 million. And, you know, it depends on usually the square meters of the apartment, what floor, so on and so forth. And the project is ready. So that is also a good thing, you know, because some people prefer having something as a ready project, you know, directly get your keys and start living. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a very good investment location wise, as they say, location, location, location. This is the most central location you can find in Istanbul with taking into consideration the socioeconomic level and the luxury that you have. 
So as you can see in this, it is right directly minutes away from the Atakoi Mega Marina, where if someone would like to park their yacht right away, four minutes away, if you are coming by your private jet, Atatürk Havali Money, which is uh, Atatürk, the airport now is currently servicing the private jets. We have a few also shopping malls right next to the vicinity of the project. So walking minute, like walking distance, about four or five minutes. You are in shopping malls. You have also metro lines very close by, you know, just in case you needed to use public transport. Uh, you wanted to go to see, let's say, the... Uh, the Istanbul Canal, also a few minutes by car, you're there. Everything that you might need is within minutes. That's a very, very important uh, point for the project. Um, so that's pretty much it. Also, Yanni, just in case an emergency, also hospitals are also very close by. You have about three or four hospitals also within minutes away from the project. Uh, you know, it's the luxury of luxury. That's That's how I can like describe Seaford. And going on forward, we have another project. Our other project is, let's say in the middle budget, it's not very high end, but it's also in a very uh, central location in the area of Topkapi. Let's watch the small video about the project and I will also uh, explain about it. Talking about this project, this project is called Bayas Park. This project is actually located in the area of Topkapi. The project, hello, Mr. Safari. Yes. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, as I said, the project is located in the area of Topkapi. The area of Topkapi is one of, let's say, the first circle of Istanbul. So we have very close by everything. So you have Metro line, which is a, a two minute walk away. You have the Metro bus, you have the tramway. And that's a very interesting thing because that's a very rare thing to happen in Istanbul where one point has three kinds of transportations. And also you have also within like a few minutes walking from the project, you have six or seven universities, you have hospitals, you have the E5 highway, which is one of the very main highways in Istanbul, which takes you all, all the way to Ankara. So it's, uh, let's say, uh, an international highway that goes through uh, Istanbul. The project has all kinds of social facilities. Uh, it is ready, of course. And we have also like Turkish bath, spa, sauna, swimming pools, indoor and outdoor. Yeah, and all kind of uh, social facilities that you might need, you can find. And the project is also a very good investment because also, this area, which is Topkapi, is also the, the new high end. So it has a lot of perspective uh, improvements and so on and so forth going forward, even though that like because of how the uh, municipality and the government is trying to invest more and more in this area, just to make it more and more developed as time goes by. And for the last uh, like option that we currently have, so we currently have a project that is in, uh, in the Asian side. It is called uh, Merkez Hayat. This project is currently under construction, will be delivered in about four or five months or so. Uh, let me just show you the small video about it and then I'll get, explain more. Okay, so this project is actually located in the area, as I said, of Sultan Bayli. This area is very close by to the Sabiha Gurchan Airport, which is the second airport of Istanbul. Uh, this also is an international airport. This area is also very, very promising because it is not yet uh, fully inhabited, let's say. Uh, we have uh, uh, this project is currently, as I said, is under construction. So that's a good 
uh, thing because if people are looking maybe for more of an investment purpose and also for like citizenship, we have also an offer here where we can get two apartments for the price of a citizenship. You know, of course, all the other projects that I talked about before this, Bayas Park and Seaford, also suitable for citizenship, no problem at all. And also uh, in this area here, it is a, on a good because of investment, because of the increase of price that happens usually uh, as the time comes for the delivery date. So it's a good uh, option for people that are invest interested in that. And as a location, you can see here, it is very close by to Eidos Forest, which is also one of the very big forests in Istanbul. Uh, airports, you have also universities close by, you, you have hospitals. You know, it is one of the very good areas in Istanbul that is very promising, as I said. And that's pretty much what it is. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Anas. It was Thank a very much. amazing uh, presentation about a really Thank incredible you. real estate Thank project. You and if anyone uh, has questions, please let me know. Okay, all right. Then we have another question around this topic that is there any annual tax that needs to be paid after purchasing the property? Mm -hmm. Yes, so as a, let's say, property tax, if we're going to talk about property tax, usually what a person pays is usually a 4% title deed transfer. That's usually upon, pay, upon buying the actual, uh, let's say, uh, property. And usually there's a VAT that goes from 1% going up to 18%. It depends on the project and it depends on the type of the apartment or the property being bought. Uh, but regarding on a yearly basis, the taxes are like 0.1% of the value of the apartment or the property in general. So usually like this is a very negligible number when it comes to the actual, you know, appreciation of capital that happens. It's negligible. It's not even a number to be considered. That's great. Sounds great. Okay. Thank yeah. you. You're more than welcome. Yeah, so well, uh, after going through the main uh, investment options, how you can obtain a citizenship uh, in Turkey, Mr. Imad, um, so what is so special about the Turkey CBI program? Why is it so popular in the world now? Uh, <clears throat> first, uh, investors have uh, a wide range of options to apply for CBI program. Mm -hmm. Usually, as I, we mentioned before, we have six options including the real estate investment and the bank deposit and have a solid investment and regular income because the investor can choose any property anywhere in Turkey. He can choose a property for investment. He can choose property for his life to live there, for example. And the ability to recover this investment only after th uh, three years. The second is a fast track. CBI, Turkish CBI program is a fast track program with less documentation and the approval time is approximately three uh, four months. It was three months, but now we can calculate it by four months. Uh, third thing, uh, this program has less fee. The government processing uh, cost and non-refundable fees in CBI program is the lowest in the world. We know all the uh, legal CBI program and this really is the lowest. For example, adding 11 children to the same application will increase the government fee for approximately only $100. This is almost uh, nothing or free of charge. This is the main thing by this uh, CBI program. All right, thank you. So after these very, very attractive points, I can imagine that everyone would like to have or would like to mm -hmm. be a citizen of, of Turkey, of course. But let's talk about the restrictions too. So are there any restrictions uh, restrictions for nationalities to apply for Turkish CBI? Yeah, there are four nationalities. They are restricted to apply to uh, Turkish citizenship. We have Armenia, we have Nigeria, we have North Korea, and we have Cuba. And we have one restriction for Zirian. They cannot buy real estate because this is uh, a contract between Zirian and Turkey, but they can apply for by bank deposit, for example. Other thing, there are no restriction for all the countries available. That's great. All right. So after, after this information, we need to know how to apply for Turkey citizenship. And what is the procedure usually? Um, when we identify the way of investment, we will take the following step. 
uh, in case of real estate, we have the property evaluation. That's the first thing. We should evaluate the property by authorized government license agent. And the evaluation should be not less than 250,000 US dollars. That's mostly the people have to invest 260, 270 to assure that this amount uh, above the uh, level what the government uh, regulated. And the investor will sign a commitment not to sell this property within three years. After that, we submit a request to the authority to get the certificate of conformity. That means this property uh, fulfill all the requirements to apply for citizenship. Then we apply for uh, residency, uh, investor residency visa only for the main applicant, the property uh, or the property owner. It is a permit special only for the citizenship application. And the last step, we submit this document to the government and we wait, as I said, approximately four months for the approval. Great, thank you. But if someone uh, chooses the bank deposit, then uh, Mr. Mushtaq, so how to open a bank account in Turkey and uh, what are the requirements? Because that's the start then. Yes, you are right. Actually, we are as a Turkish uh, banking system. The Turkish banking system is includes 52 banks. These banks are commercial, participation banks, investment banks, and some uh, general cooperation banks. So in this uh, regulation, by having a Turkish citizenship, by banking deposit, you can uh, once open an account, one of these banks, uh, most of them, the commercial and the participation banks, you can uh, have the, the, the ability to submit your uh, Turkish citizenship uh, registration through uh, banking uh, regulatory body in Turkey. So if any foreigners want to have an individual retail bank in Turkey, uh, they had first of all had to Turkish tax number. The Turkish tax number is uh, the, 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 as identification for uh, any foreigners who still not have any address declaration in Turkey. That's our first uh, request to open an account for the, uh, an individual person. And that, of course, the, 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 the requested uh, documents about the uh, ID card or passport, and especially the, the valid and uh, a current address in Turkey. So this, this address should be uh, approved by the uh, an, an valid electricity bill or any uh, additional bill you can say in the, in the bank, uh, the credit card statement from the origin country which shown this uh, individual had a current address in a foreign country. After the finishing the, this documentation, it is process for the old banks going to the compliance and AML department. It will be a general check for uh, the, the, the individual want to open an account in a Turkey. Uh, and during the uh, seven to 10 days, the, 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 the account for the uh, retail individuals are be open. After this, um, if the, the, the client want to submit for a Turkish citizenship, uh, before there was a, as a, a un, 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 uh, well known about this amount should be bring uh, from abroad. For example, if I am in Turkey and I'm a foreigner and I already had some funds, okay, uh, they are not accepting my bank deposit uh, citizenship uh, registration, no. And, and unless you had uh, the equivalent amount of five hundred thousand dollars, and you uh, giving the, the the declaration that you will hold it in the, the, the bank account for three years, it can be easily you you, you submit for a Turkish citizenship. Uh, Mr. Emad already mentioned that the, the, the duration of the the response from the governmental side took to four months and six months in general, yes, but from the bank side, it can be more, uh, how we can say, uh, easiest because everything is going through the process 
as as well as with the real estate investment. All right, thank you. Um, and what about foreign companies then? So can foreign companies open bank accounts? The foreign companies can open an account, but the first, uh, uh, how we can say the process or the requirement, they should have a, an, 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 an rep, rep office or a branch in Turkey. Okay, okay. I am, I am speaking on behalf of my bank process. Yes. Maybe there, there, there are banks mm. allowing to open an account for uh, firms. They are not located in Turkey, but I am speaking on behalf of my bank for a firms or the companies uh, who had activities abroad or outside Turkey. They should have a, a rep office or they should have a, a, at least a branch here in Turkey and the approved address and the Turkish tax ID given by the government and the commerce uh, registration office and the process can be uh, easily gone as a Turkish uh, firm here. Yeah. All right, thank you. And uh, thank you. are Turkish banks uh, crypto friendly? Actually, the banks uh, looking in this uh, issue uh, from what is what will be declared by the central bank. Uh, we have no well-known uh, two, two weeks later, the central bank had already issued something about the uh, electronic tokens to uh, a minimum uh, capital should be $1 million. Uh, sorry, not $1 million, $1 million Turkish lira mm -hmm. for uh, registration a firm of e-token. But about in generally uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, until now, Turkey is uh, looking for the... the, the, the how we can say to develop in their own system. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So it's we can say that it's actually under process. Uh, actually, yeah, but for 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 the time being, there's no one hundred percent something declared about the Turkish Central Bank or the Turkish banking uh, regulatory that it's um, accepted or that it will be a, a, a kind of uh, payment methodology. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, then what is the benefit and the facility of having a Turkish bank account, Mr. Mushtaq? Actually, if we are talking about the, the, the having a Turkish bank account, it's uh, for uh, whom want to uh, have a residence in Turkey or had any deals with Turkey. It's very easy because the banking sector, especially the online banking system in Turkey, it's uh, really very uh, developed. So uh, you can do any kind of transactions by your phone and it's uh, directly through the bank and the global uh, areas uh, platforms using it. So when you had a Turkish bank account, uh, I guess uh, if you are living in Turkey, your life will be much, much more easier. Okay. And if you are foreigner, it yeah. will be additional because uh, time to time, uh, we all know about the foreigners that they have and they receive their funds from the abroad. Okay, so it's uh, very, very easy to you uh, to deal uh, intra-Turkey with, with while you're having a, a banking account and everything and every services, it can be provided by all banking uh, system in Turkey. Okay, it, it sounds very kind of user friendly then uh, and developed. Uh, are great. And uh, Mr. Imad, so what about the advantages of obtaining Turkish citizenship? Mm, beside that you will be a citizen of a country with a strong economy in this region, uh, with a lot of business opportunity and government support, you will be having access visa-free to 110 countries. And you will have an option to apply for E2 visa, residency US uh, visa. Turkey is one of the E2 treaty uh, countries, which mean Turkish citizens can uh, apply easy, including CBI investor, to obtain US residency. To mention here, US residency can be applied uh, by EB5, and it, the cost is around 900,000. E2 visa is opening a new business in US with uh, approximately 200,000 
and then you have residency for you and your family or the investor can uh, sit there with their family there in us uh, you don't need in turkey to declare your tax worldwide except if you are tax residents in turkey and in regard of health and education system investors have excellent uh, access to health and education system in turkey with their family and children and can really enjoy as uh, a living in the safe environment with high quality of life while definitely enjoying turkish cuisine one of the most delicious food in the world what i am uh, enjoyed by myself and i miss it when i travel outside turkey yeah okay all right thank you so much i think uh we've just really covered uh, and understood all uh uh that why the turkish citizenship program and why turkey is so popular and why uh is it worth really to become a citizen uh and even invest into the country and i also mentioned that we have got um, a very uh special end of year offer mr imad uh, to the uh, limited to the attendees so who are who are here at the moment with us plus a free bank account set up in turkey so please uh, please tell us more details uh, we have for our attendee we have a special offer uh, for real estate together with our close cooperation partner the vita and uh, with the real estate discount and waiving of the transfer fee and we have offer also for administration fee uh, including the bank account it will be free of charge by applying for turkey uh, cbi program okay i think it sounds great i hope all attendees agrees with it <laughs> and uh okay then i would like to i would like to continue with the question and answer session because during during this uh, conversation we've just got some few uh, some more questions uh, from our attendees uh, mm -hmm. so let me address to you the first one uh, the lira rate dropped so crazy uh, can i sell it out in three years how is the turkish economy will people have money to buy a house in three years Thank you. This is from one attendee and more questions, I know. So if you want me, I will, I will repeat it. Uh, but let's start uh, with the answers, Mr. Imad. Uh, in my opinion, now the real estate uh, price is low. And this is good for investors now to enter the market. Because usually in Turkey, everything will be produced in Turkey. That means uh, you enter the market with dollar, you buy the real estate by dollar price, but the registration and buying, uh, or you pay a dollar, but you buy it in Turkish lira. And the price for real estate is not decreased like the dollar should be. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, this is a good time now to enter. And we don't expect that the lira will be dropped much. It's now a correction in the economy. And it have a reason why this drop happening in the market but it will be not continue like this it's just to establish the market yes and just something to add mr Ahmad. actually istanbul was now put in a research with about 100 other cities in the world and it's actually one of the best uh, capital appreciation cities when it comes to real estate worldwide so we can talk moscow we can talk new york london so on and so forth but here we have way much better capital appreciation even when it comes to the lira to lira so not only dollar to dollar even lira to lira is also one of the highest so that's also a very good opportunity to invest uh, i think later on prices are going to go up especially with raw material now worldwide going up in prices it's not uh, it's the time i think it's right now the time yes. i agree mr mushtaq anything to add to this topic Actually, I agree with uh, Mr. Anas and Mr. Imad that uh, the, the, the investment opportunity for this time for foreigners, especially in Turkey, it will be uh, very good uh, for a short term. And uh, maybe the, 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 the amount of uh, going up and the volatility of the Turkish lira, I guess it will be uh, miss itself. Uh, Pardon, it will correct itself by the uh, beginning of the next year because uh, we can see that 
there is a, a, a very big amount of uh, trade in the Turkish lira uh, between the Turkish lira and the foreign currency, even if in the lowest price, you know, for example, uh, we, we see that the, 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 the amount of the trade uh, for uh, during the day, it's too yeah, very big. So uh, it, it, it should be had uh, something to uh, just uh, correct itself by the uh, beginning of the next year. All right, thank you. Then uh, another question, uh, how about exchange control in Turkey for getting initial investment out of the country? Mr. Imad? You repeat the question, please. <laughs> <laughs> so how about exchange mm -hmm. control in Turkey for getting okay. initial investment out of the country? As long uh, for foreigners, they have easy access to transfer money in and out, okay. especially if they have business outside. Uh, and I think they have more privilege than Turkish uh, citizens. Okay, uh, Mr. Mushtaq, maybe any any additional thought about the exchange control? The exchange control in Turkey is just as an an, an, an uh, general rules of the world well known uh, the, the the mechanism of the outgoing and ingoing transfers. For example, uh, if there is no any restrictions about the name or the, the place of the transfer, it will can be easily. Uh, inward and uh, going uh, outward of Turkey. So we, yeah, we, uh, for this time, we don't have any restriction if any foreigners want to send all of the, the, their capital or all of their funds outside Turkey to the, their home or base uh, country. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis also, if they want to move all of them uh, funds inside uh, intra Turkey, no uh, any additional regulations or any additional restrictions to, 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 to move of these funds. It's already complied with, with uh, all global uh, requirements. So there is no any additional restriction or any uh, thing different from the global practice. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, then let me, let me just go through on, uh, on other questions too we've got. Okay, then another question is uh, coming to the pro property, real estate. Uh, if, if I investment in one property to the value of 500,000 USD, does two families qualify for citizenship? Yes, yes, of course they do. So the thing is, for let's say for each citizenship, you have to have a minimum of two hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So it's if let's say we get five hundred, five hundred and fifty, so on and so forth. It you can get two. You pay a million dollars. You can apply for four citizenships, and that's uh, as a main applicant. So let's say a main applicant has a has his wife and three children under eighteen. These are all considered as one applicant. It's a, it's a one, uh, let's say, it's a one folder. So, you know, every folder is for $250,000. Regardless of if it's one apartment or uh, you can buy three apartments for the value of $250,000. The thing is, they have to be a total of two hundred fifty, dollars so you can apply as a folder or as, as an applicant. Okay. If my son is 18 but depended on me as he's still at university, how does he obtain citizenship? Mr. Imad, maybe. It, yeah, it will be not added to the application, but he will receive a residency visa, a residency in Turkey, and after five years, he can apply. But uh, by the age of 18, or the 18 is the limited, where we can add uh, independent in the application. Okay, thank you. Till now, unfortunately, there are no exception, but perhaps it will be later on. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
uh, yeah. Well, as I see, these are all questions we've got. Uh, yeah, well, th there is also a requirement. Maybe if we can, if we can send presentations to to the attendees. Uh, well, um, if someone missed the beginning, this was more like a conversation. This whole session, and we had one uh, presentation about uh, the really wonderful real estate projects um, in Turkey. Uh, but I guess that it can be it can be also sent. Um, and uh, well, now I would like to ask the speakers uh, if you have anything we, we might haven't really touched, but you you feel important to to share uh, with us um, as a closing of of this webinar. Um, I would like to mention one thing if I can if I can start. Sure. That's in compare really to other CBI program. Turkey is a home for many investors, and we have investors from Iraq, from Yemen, from Libya, where they have troubling in their country. And Turkey is a second home for this investor. And in my opinion, this is really because the country is a huge country, it's a strong country, economical, and there's a lot of opportunity there. People can live there and continue their life. This is not just a passport is a citizenship where the people can have a plan E, not a plan B for their and their family. Okay, thank you so much. Mr. Anas, would you like to add something? I actually would like to tell you from personal experience, one for the exchange control that Mr. Mushtab was talking about. I'm a citizen of Panama, okay? I can send money going and coming, no problem. I also have a bank account in Lebanon with all that problem that's going on, also no problem. You know, so this, is, this thing also is a very important thing. And then when it comes to real estate, even the country is giving uh, like uh, foreigners some also added values, added things that they can do. So for example, you can get a VAT exemption. So you, you're always talking about it from one to 18%. This can be exempted if your money is coming from outside as in, in a foreign currency. And also if you don't have a residency permit currently in Turkey, then you can actually save up to 18% of your value of the property. So that's also an exemption that like an added value that the government is giving and allowing foreigners to do so that it makes it easier for them and more and of an added value if you want to think about it. Thank you so much uh, okay. for sharing your ex also your own experiences. Uh, and Mr. Mushtaq, would you like to add something? Uh, actually, as uh, Al Baraka Bank, we are already uh, will be happy and glad to be servicing uh, the foreigners, especially because uh, we, we already established a new department, uh, especially they are uh, just giving services to foreign uh, retail clients. And uh, we hope that uh, after this uh, meeting and this uh, webinar, uh, I guess the attendees already had a, a clear vision and uh, the, the, the uh, general information about the processes in Turkey uh, for investment in, in the real, uh, real estate side or in the banking activities. I thank you and thank uh, all the attendees and the speakers. Thank you so thank much. You, Mr. Thank, thank you, you also for hosting us as Nivita on, uh, on behalf of me and my company. We'd like to thank you and our trusted partner, NTL. Uh, you guys know that we are hand in hand and you know that we give you the, right. the, the, the right thing, our, our, our investments, are very well trusted just like you are. Thank you very much, Mr. Anas. And thank, thank you, Adrian. Thank you so much for everyone, all um, the speakers, and thank you for you, uh, dear attendees, uh, to, to be with us during this session in the end of the year. Uh, and uh, don't, uh, um, so remember, we have got a special offer for you. So if, if you would like to have it, just please uh, uh, write us an email to the info at ntltrust.com so we can proceed it uh, because it's only valid for you who, who, who were uh, here with us live uh, uh, in this uh, last one hour. And uh, I would like to, uh, I would like to uh, um, say everyone uh, a very happy 
uh, Christmas and uh, very beautiful uh, holidays uh, with your families uh, and, uh, and a very happy new year. Hopefully we will see each other soon in the beginning of the next year because we are already uh, preparing uh, another webinar for you. And before we say uh, totally goodbye, I just got the information that that we have got maybe one more question. <laughs> so uh, let's let's check it. Okay, uh, just uh, one minute. Okay. If you would like, I can help with a question from Mr. Ammar. Mr. Ammar was saying that uh, he bought three years ago and his uh, block will be ending soon. And if he's going to be able to sell it or not, Mr. Ammar, I can assure you, you when your block of three years is uh, done and you are free to do whatever you'd like with the apartment, you can sell it, you can rent it, you can do anything. And also, even if it's not done, you can also rent it out. But if you want to sell, there's no problem after the end of these three years, it's, you're free to do whatever you'd like. Okay, thank you so much. Then maybe this was the last, last question from the attendees. Uh, so um, very happy holidays for everyone. Thank you for being here and, uh, and see you soon and uh, apply for your special offer at info at ntitrust.com. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.